So let's talk about filing fees. So when you filed your case, you either paid the full filing fee or we did an application for you so that you could pay just $78 of the filing fee and you've agreed to pay the other two payments in installments. So this is very important because for some reason, there always seems to be a lot of confusion about this. So make sure that you make your filing fee payments to the bankruptcy court. Now, easiest thing for you to do is go to our homepage, scroll down to the bottom of our homepage, and you are going to see a selection for either Chapter 7 or Chapter 13 Client Portal. So whatever case you're in, if you're in a 7, go to the 7 portal. If you're a 13 client, go to the 13 portal. But if you click in that box, there's literally step-by-step -step instructions and a link on where you make those installment payments. Now, there's a reminder in your attorney-client agreement. There is this client portal. You're also going to receive a letter from the court. So literally lots of reminders um, in terms of when you have to make those payments. Now, whatever date your case was filed on, and you'll have an email from me um, when you get the letter from the court, it has the date up there. 30 days from that date, you have to pay your first installment. So first installment comes 30 days after that date. If you filed a chapter 13 case, then that payment is going to be $117.50. If you filed a chapter seven case, that payment is going to be $130 because chapter seven filing fees are a little higher than 13 filing fees. So once you file your case in 30 days, the first installment payment is due to the bankruptcy court, okay? Not your trustee, bankruptcy court. The second installment payment will be due, the second and final installment payment will be due 30 days after that. So make sure you've got that. Um, I think it's pretty straightforward, but for some reason, folks just, I guess they're getting overwhelmed with things and they start mixing up. Who do I send this to? It's not hard. It's super easy. You just, again, you can go to our client portal site, literally have step-by-step -step instructions and the link on where you pay it. Um, so the only thing you're going to need is you're just going to need your case number, which you should have. You should have a million emails and documents that have that case number on there. Um, and you simply go in and, and make your payment. Um, for filing fees, I, I tell all my clients, and I've always got a couple of people every month that they they, they miss the deadline um, and your case will get dismissed. I have nothing to do with that. I have no control over that because I don't work for the courts. I work for my clients. So make sure that you make your filing fee payments. If you don't make your filing fee payment, they will dismiss your case. There is no hearing. They don't wanna hear any excuses. You don't make your payment on time to the court, boom they cancel the case. Now, when I say cancel, it's still on your credit. So it's not like it just poof goes away. Now you've got a dismissed bankruptcy on your credit. So even if you can refile, which most folks yes can, you're going to have multiple case filings on your credit, which you wanna to try to avoid. So please, please, please pay attention about the filing fee. If you have a question or if it's not clear to you, in terms of what's going on, you can always, always contact the office. Um, you can call, you can email, we have multiple ways. Um, so please don't just make assumptions. If you're confused about anything, you can always confirm it with us. But again, it's all online. If you go to your chapter seven or 13 client portal, it's all there for you.